But now we know the base functions and features of Wiscom. We can create a lot of different renderings in a lot of different styles. But now let's see how it fits all into the industrial design workflow and the industrial design process. And our design brief is to create an expressive headphone that is communicating the user's behavior in some way. So let's create a new folder and call it expressive headphone. We are going to explore a little bit this theme, create a new file in this, square orientation and create. My strategy will be to build from the bottom up. So I'm going to start with a very rough and basic headphone and then get inspired and, and get the ideas from that point. So let's start with a very simple sketch that I'm going to do in the application just to lay out the main proportions and, and volumes. So my tactic will be to just create a very rough sketch and then clean up afterwards. So it should be like a very basic rounded headphone. Um, and, and I'm going to sketch it in, in a stretched out way how a human would wear it. Because later on I have some plans about it. Sketching in Wiscom is actually very fun. We, we set up the brush to be a very comfortable sketching brush. But of course you can sketch in any other preferred drawing application or you can of course use pen and paper as well. But I'm just constructing a very basic representation of my base headphone idea. And in Viscom, uh, using the keyboard shortcuts really can like ex accelerate your workflow and make, make it feel like home. For example, it's a very neat touch that we, if you click F on a keyboard, then you can flip the canvas instantly. It's just a very neat touch to implement a keyboard shortcuts for flipping the canvas, which is like a very designer friendly approach when it comes to sketching and checking the perspective and the proportions, of course, in different viewpoint and from this point I can see that it's a bit the headband is a bit offset here but no problem I just wanted to create a very rough sketch here so now I'm going to just clean up this rough sketch with the help of the shape tools I think it's a very important thing to have a clean representation of your idea because you can create very clean renderings with the help of that so that's what I like to call render constructing because you're essentially constructing the wished rendering results that you want to see in a line work way. So you are telling Viscom that I want to see these lines to, to be influential in my rendering. Just sketching an arc like this. Duplicating this arc. Okay, so I think we could pretty nicely clean up our original dirtier sketch into something that can be a very nice rendering base. And first things first, I would like to just generate some ideation materials with this shape to kind of validate the volume of this whole headphone that we are designing. So I'm going to go to this volume render mode and just simply prompting headphone. Headphone and clicking generate just to have a very raw 3D shape representation of our sketch. Okay, so after we generated this volume render, I noticed that it doesn't really have a depth in that left ear cup. So I'm going to modify the sketch accordingly. So let's create a new layer and just put this little inside ellipse here to give that ear cup a little bit more depth. And I just did this little modification, headphone, volume render style and generate again and let's 
let's validate the 3D shape now. Or not the actual 3D shape, but let's validate how it looks as a volume. Okay, it's a bit better. I'm going to hit generate one more time. Okay, that is very nice. That's what I was aiming for, to have that sense of sense of shape in the left ear cup as well, and that sense of roundness. And I create a new layer, and I just want to get rid of this little logo here. So I use my brush to make the opacity max. On the hardness, I go for the soft brush, and I can actually adjust the brush size by holding down S on the keyboard, and I'm just applying pressure in the middle here. And this way it nicely can fill out this space. And the other little thing which I would just correct here is that little, let's say, artifact here. I just want to get rid of it. But in the refine mode, I can increase the drawing influence and just generate one. Because now we are at a phase where we can play around with the shape, we don't really care that much about quality. And I just use the refine mode with high influence to get rid of that little detail which I try to correct with my brush. And now I have a very pure shape representation and I can now start creating the renderings but I just want to create just for fun. So let's use the pasta render style to create a very funky, colorful product design -y rendering. And so we created a lot of ideation material on our basic sketch. So feel free to create a lot of early ideation and validate the shapes with the help of these. Use the refine mode to get rid of the mistakes or just to ideate further on that shape.